Hey everybody, uh, my name is Simon Parazzi and I'm a musician out on the Sunshine Coast of British Columbia and I've designed a digital concert series that I want to present that is uh, music from original musicians on the coast and uh, the series is called Grooves and Ruts and the theme of the series is art with restrictions. You're going to hear some traffic going by because, of course, in these times we're recording in our houses. So you might hear a chainsaw, you might hear a motorcycle, you might hear a float plane. Uh, our first guest for this series is my wonderful friend Jim Foster. And we're going to take turns playing original songs. Yeah, this would be where there'd be clapping, that's right. Um, we're going to take turns playing original songs back and forth and talking a little bit about them. and. You know, explaining what it's like for us to be musicians in the time of COVID and how we can, you know, create um, art, you know, focus on the aesthetics of art, but also the opportunities to get art out there. And this is part of this project is to try and find avenues by which we can present music to the public. So thanks for coming and watching. And... Uh, that was a famous novel, wasn't it? <laughs> Musicians in the time of COVID. <laughs> Musicians in the yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, Musicians in the time of COVID. It is a great novel. You're yeah, right. it is. Yeah. We're living it right now as we speak. Awesome. Do you have anything you want to say before we kick off? Just that we're going to start with one of Simon's tunes, which uh, is about a quarantine, and it seems totally appropriate to start with that, to, to my way of thinking. Strangely enough, this song was written three years ago and actually mentions a quarantine, and we had no idea how prescient that lyric would be until this year. All right, here we go. This one's called Mr. Hopeful. Out on 
crying You say he's in the machine Come on man, you must be lying Oh, 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 oh Oh, 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 oh Oh, 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 oh Well, come on man, you must be lying Come on, man, you must be lying. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> Mr. Hopeful. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, we broke the ice, eh? We broke the ice. We've officially started. Um, that last song was actually a co-write with the lovely Miss Kara Stanley, who co-wrote a lot of the songs on my last record that came out a year ago. And because of the mess we're in right now, I've been unable to kind of get it out there and play it and support it. And so this is giving me an opportunity to get some of those songs out to y'all out there. And I think... Next, we're going to do one of uh, Jim's songs called I'll Be Okay. This is brand new. Perfect. Brand spanking new. Comes with a three-year warranty, which is as good as you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <Yeah. laughs> this is not about the quarantine, but it's certainly informed by the quarantine for having been written during the quarantine. Right, so it's, it's quarantine appropriate. The overall malaise. <laughs> yeah. How's the tuning? Uh, we tune because we care. I'd like to think this song is hopeful. By way of segue from the last song. Yeah, yeah. For sure. It is, very much so. It's about redemption. Yeah. Pretty much. Should I try it without lyrics? Ha! <laughs> There's a question. Everyone can add their own redeeming lyrics to it? I don't... Here's, I don't. here's a framework for you fully realizing yourself and becoming self-actualized. <laughs> Whoa. We can edit this part out, right? Nope. This is perfect. This is just all it is. Okay. We're bringing you music from the kitchen table, warts and all. All the music happens in the silence anyway, so it's important to have these pauses. I was... Simon and I haven't been uh, playing together much over the years, and even less over the last few months. I moved up here a couple years ago and uh, ran into him through a mutual friend, Joe Stanton. And... Uh, we did a couple of jams together up at the local golf course and discovered that we had a lot in common musically. And, uh, Indeed. So during the quarantine, we started sending emails back and forth with lyrics and stuff going, hey, what do you think of this, man? You know, and stuff. So this is one of the ones that... Uh, awesome. Okay. 
That'll be our own <laughs> applause noise. Yeah. Yeah. The stadium, the digital stadium, they actually, during COVID, they should actually market a plugin you can get for your live stream shows that you can activate like a morass of crowd noise in between your songs. Sure. It, I'm sure it would be a, a, a hot seller during COVID. For Bigger all than the, the cardboard cutouts behind home plate in the baseball game. <laughs> right, exactly. right. You can rent those spaces out on your live stream. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, to continue on the theme of art during COVID, this is um, this next song is a song I wrote while we were in quarantine. Kind of a blues about losing old habits. I will also tune before we play the next one. There's a lot of tuning when in performing. Yeah, people don't usually see that because the lights are usually out and this roadie's running around with little flashlights bringing you a new guitar and stuff. Right, yeah, I don't have, yeah, exactly, yeah, my, my crew. I don't swim in those pools. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. I think I'll, I'll start this by telling a little story. Um, this one's called Last of Me. And uh, <clears throat> as you can tell by watching the video, I'm in a wheelchair. So I, I'm, I, I have a list of things that I suffer from. And one of them is chronic pain. And as a way of dealing with chronic pain, the medical system likes to put you on uh, drugs that suppress the pain, but they don't do a really good job. So this song was written in my... Uh, during a period where I was quitting taking these drugs to deal with the pain that wasn't really dealing with the pain. I know that's a very convoluted way of explaining it, but that's the best I can do on short notice. All right, this one's called Last of Me. Do you want to start it off? What time do you want? One, two, three, four. You can tell me once, you can tell me twice. Cause you say it three times Don't make it good advice Some say follow your heart No sense in living with regret You think you got the best of me But that's the last of me you're gonna get Why punch a champ Right in the nose all that shit he was talking, man, I knew it come to blows. I've been all over this town, but I ain't some stray dog you can just pet. Yeah. You think you got the best of me, but that's the last of me you're gonna get. You crawl across my skin, you seep into my mind. You vengeful, spiteful, evil and unkind You move pieces around the board You pull cards from the bottom of the deck You think you got the best of me But that's the last of me you're gonna get Head to the station, catch the 305 Whistles and steam is gonna keep me alive I will send for my trunk You can pose my room up to late yeah. You think you got the best of me But that's the last of me you're gonna get Here we go Yeah Great. We got to do it every time now. Obligated. <laughs> Applause is obligatory. Okay. Moving right along. This amazing clip. Good keep, clip. Got to keep up the pace. I was reading James Lee Burke last night. And just in passing, he said, uh, 
Scared money never wins. Nice. You don't ease up on the batter in the bottom of the ninth, and you never give up pole position on the last turn. Whoa. Some good advice there. Never let your deal go down. Yeah. Yeah. The updated version. <laughs> keep, her, keep her moving here. Nice. Sounds great. Yeah. So this tune has been kicking around since the early 80s. I got uh, I got the chorus in the early 80s. And it always reminded me of Von Helm and the band. And uh, I tried writing verses and I couldn't get anything that just seemed to live up to the chorus. And uh, so I shelved it. And then I had a chance to, to sit backstage and chat with Levon Helm one time. And uh, he actually told me it's Levon, not Levon, but we'll just let that sit. That's good. And uh, he said, I said, yeah, I got this song. It's just perfect for you, but I just can't, I can't seem to find the, the rest of it. And he says, well, you know, you just got to keep putting your hands down in the dirt there. And you just keep tilling it and working that dirt. And sooner or later, something's going to grow. The gospel according to Levant. According to Levant. So all these years later, gosh, it's 40 years later. I remember you were talking to me about this tune on the phone. Yeah. And dusting it off. And I did. And it just, I could never get the chorus out of my head, but I could never find the right way to go about writing what it was about. And I still don't really know what it's about. It's kind of about what it's about. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyhow, it's called... Why don't you love me in the daylight? Tell me now 
Brand new ending. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sorry. I didn't get the memo on the ending. There wasn't one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's a great tune, Jim. Good job, man. Just need to keep digging in that dirt, you know? Keep, yeah, that's it. Massage them seeds. What's next? I think you're up again. Oh, God. Unless you want to split that up. I don't have to up. be. We could do... Uh, do you want to switch up? No. We, you want to put uh, I've Been Better, I've Been Worse in there? We could if you want. and Break it up. Is that how you're feeling? I don't... Uh, I'll take it from here if you want. So, this is also a song that was on my album that I put out last year before live music became kind of like a survey course. And... Uh, I was lucky enough to get to do co-writing with a lot of people. Kara Stanley, my partner, is one. Another was a poet that lived here on the coast at the time named Mike Barnholden. And uh, <clears throat> he co-wrote a few tunes that are on that record. And this is one of them. It's called I've Been Better, I've Been Worse. Which kind of speaks to sort of where we're all at right now, really. One could easily say that we could share that sentiment. So this just feels like a bit of like a T-Rex bang. Yeah, I got it. Thing. I'm all over it. All right, baby. I know you are. I got you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the wave when the applause starts over here and then moves over there yeah exactly <laughs> right stereo flange of applause <laughs> 